Once she's out of my hands, there ain't much more I can do. Alright, let's try this. Oh man. And he's barely got enough kick just to get off the ground. To get out of my hands. That's full throttle. It's not a real joy to fly. This needs a 4 -a system. I mean, it looks nice and smooth when she comes in, but this plane needs to be on 4S. One minute 30. Doesn't sound as good as the lipish either. She just doesn't have the get up and go. <coughs> I think you need to keep this plane at at least 70% throttle to feel like you've got any kind of authority to get out of trouble. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's a challenge to be up in the air, but once you're up, it's, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna have to come around because we are at our almost our three minutes. I'm not gonna push it any further. Beauty. All right, that was three minutes and 11 seconds. <coughs> so guys, how do I feel about this? Uh, this Stinger 64, well, it put a, a sour taste in my mouth when I uh, put, the, put the P15 Lippish into the dirt. That was just horrifying. Um, on 4S, she goes better than 3S. She's fast. I had to limit the... Um, the throttle to around about 70%. So I did that just on my um, on my transmitter, obviously. Um, what else can I say? She's kind of slow, um, slow on 3S and pretty relatively slow on 4S as well compared to the Lipish. That power system is much better in that in that jet. I think it's newer and it's just more capable. That power system in the Lipish is designed for 4S and competently runs on 3S as well. This one here is only designed for 3S. Um, so putting the 4S, there was always a risk of, um, you know, burning out an ESC or burning out a motor. That's why I limited the, um, the power output to 70%. So it's still only drawing a maximum of 29 to 30 amps at full throttle, which is what the 3S was pulling. Um, I just hooked up my Eternity Watt meter just to check that all out and make sure uh, well, just to see what it was pulling at 4S and where I needed to um, peg it back. Uh, originally, uh, when I was testing it, I set it to like 50%, and 
and it was only pulling like 17 amps so I just gradually bumped it up until I was happy that the um, that the maximum amps that it would pull was about 29 to 30 amps so same as 3s and the test showed that it had more thrust um, thrust at that point anyway so I guess that's relative to the kV of the motor and the voltage that's going through the motor um, so same amperage but more thrust so that's kind of interesting um, maybe I'll do some more bench tests and, and see what it's really doing if that's still the case um, the landings are good the stinger comes in um, to land pretty well um, I'm less I'm less worried about the stinger coming in than I than I am usually about the lipish I guess because it's just like motorbike I guess that's because the lipish has just got a relatively short fuselage and those wings they're not massive but they're they're longer than the fuselage so I feel like if she hits something she likes to spin and um, that's not fun neither is um, smashing into the ground nose first um, yeah mixed feelings about this morning I'm I'm pretty disappointed to be honest 